Hello, and welcome to another edition of On 1300. I'm Sochil Mora, and joining me today in studio is the chairman of the McAllen Public Utility Board, Mr. Charles Amos. How are you doing today? Just fine, thank you, Mr. Amos. Thank you so much for joining us. Whenever you come to MCN Studio, you have great news for <laughs> our MPU customers, residents here in McAllen about the great things that the McAllen Public Utility is doing for its customers. So today we'll be talking about something that MPU will be embarking on a new project shortly, which shortly. is installing automatic meters for our uh, customers. Tell me, why is this such an important project for <clears throat> MPU? Well, the most important thing is going to be the accuracy of the meters. Uh, the technology that's involved in these meters is, is tried and tested. They've been operating these kinds of meters for 15 years, but now it's at a more of a larger scale. Uh, the second most important thing is it's going to be more efficient for us to be able to um, read the meters. Uh, we'll be able to read the meters via internet uh, without having to have that, that uh, reader meter going from meter to meter, opening each can with the truck going out there. And it'll be efficient from that standpoint. And thirdly, it'll give us a lot of data. The customer will be able to log in and see their almost real-time usage of water. Uh, and they'll see what patterns they have and they'll be able to answer some of their own questions know why my water bill is so high. And with the efficiency that is involved in these meters, they're essentially electromagnetic. Uh, they sense the flow of water going through the size of meter and calculate the usage, which is much more accurate than the older meters. The older meters have a little impeller in them, uh, kind of like a pump in reverse, and it turns that meter and after time it wears. We've had a meter re replacement program, but uh, we have some meters that are uh, getting a little long in the tooth as far as age. So that accuracy and the information will provide us data as to where water flow is, where we may have lower pressures, higher flow than what we may have piping for uh, in certain areas. But most importantly is going to be what the customer is going to be, the information that they'll have, uh, and they'll be able to... <laughs> They'll be able to see when their sprinkler system comes on. They'll be able to see if there's a leak. And we will be able to see if there's a large leak. We can remotely shut that meter down, and which will save time. But yes, indeed, our people that are meter readers today will be our, our meter technicians of tomorrow. Those same individuals be trained in dealing with that type of meter and the things necessary to ensure the accuracy of that meter. And this project's going to be over about uh, two and a half years to complete. You know, we, we did a lot of study on this. Uh, we spent about uh, the better part of four years on and off looking at different proposals from different companies promising the, the sky and not being able to deliver. And most important to us was finding someone that was not over-promising, but we found that we're, we had one proposal at $32 million and we're actually going to be doing this complete uh, change out uh, for $18.7 million. At least that's what we borrowed from the Water Development Board at 1.2% interest. Uh, a lot of homeowners wish they could find that mortgage rate. Um, but it's going to be a project that's going to be ongoing. Uh, we will have continue to have staff available to uh, provide the necessary contact and public relations aspect of it answer the questions of the problem, we'll be there to take care of it, just like we always have. So this sounds just like a complete modernization of this necessary service of <clears throat> delivering water to your customers, both residential and commercial. Correct. And obviously that seems as if there will be an upgrade to uh, the MPU side of it with not only the technology, <clears throat> but the uh, continued use of the, of the employees that will now be in a different capacity. Correct. But I really like that aspect of the customer being able to see that water usage in real time through uh, their mobile phone. I'm sure it's a, a, an app that they'll be, be able to available. download. Uh, that's really nice. So this is quite an investment for MPU. Is there any cost that's related to that for residents, or has that already been incorporated <coughs> into that water rate that we're There's receiving? There's no direct cost to the residents. There's not an additional charge. There is to developers because the cost of that meter is substantially larger or greater than the old type meters. Uh, we already have 
about 4,000 customers that are utilizing these meters. And that was one thing that we did in the past. We went directly to a manufacturer. They uh, said, okay, we'll do a pilot project. And we have found that over the period of time that the meters are reliable, that they're accurate. And we've, they put in the backbone of a system to read those meters. With this program, we'll be expanding that system to where we can read even more remote locations. And currently we're using them out at Tres Lagos on reuse water, reclaimed water. So it's, it's of great benefit to us to be able to do that and to see the usage from our viewpoint uh, and the accuracy of the information that we're getting to analyze what, we're, what our needs of the future are going to be. And this is one step to get there. And I think that, yeah, there's probably, because of the accuracy of the meters, most people will see a slight increase in their water bill because it's actually reading all of the water that they're receiving rather than just a portion of it. Uh, but we'll be very mindful of this and be very responsive to their questions and their needs to make sure that uh, indeed that's what's happening and we are providing the accuracy. And then with that, of course, with the mobile app, then they will be able to monitor that usage exactly. and then recognize where they can either cut back, conserve water, so that they can get used to uh, a more accurate water bill of their water usage. And so it, it benefits both parties, really. Absolutely. And it's one thing that we have seen over the years with the changing in codes for different uh, water uh, devices, faucets, shower heads, toilets, they all use less water now than they did. Although we've had tremendous growth in the city of McAllen, we've seen a downward trend in actual usage. Uh, in part, that's because of our reclaimed water program, uh, where we're utilizing the reclaimed water uh, for purposes such as watering a lawn or even at some of the sports fields, but to keep some water available so that Everything doesn't look like desert of the western Texas and New Mexico. But we're looking forward to this. We think it's going to be a plus-plus and a win-win for our customers. And it's uh, implementing this technology on a whole scale that we're talking about is going to be something that I think that uh, the residents are going to be able to enjoy with that data and information themselves. Once this <clears throat> installation project begins, what can customers see uh, at their homes? Will it be, will they lose water for a period of time? Is it a quick uh, turnover? It's a relatively quick turnover. There's going to be a minor inconvenience. It'll take about 20 to 45 minutes to change out the meter. Uh, in some cases, they will be changing out the meter box also. Uh, if they remain with a metal box, there'll be a little black antenna that's put on the top lid. Uh, so that that data can be transmitted. Otherwise, there will be a plastic box that has the antenna embedded in it. We're going to this type of technology so that it, it can be read more easily. But it'll take just those few minutes, probably more like 20 to 30 minutes, but 20 to 45 is what we're advising customers that it will take. And then shortly thereafter, they'll, you know, they'll get a final reading on their old meter and start up on the new meter and, and go from there. But we do not foresee any major inconvenience. We will most likely start in a section of McAllen and they will work that section of McAllen and there'll be advance notice that, hey, they're gonna be doing it in this area. And I don't know to what degree or how much additional communication there's gonna be, or we're gonna do your street this week. We don't know that yet, but um, the, the customers we kept uh, aware of the timing with almost, well, over 48,000 meters to change out. Uh, this project's gonna take a couple of years to get complete. The company that's been contracted to do this will be going through neighborhoods doing this. They're set up and have done this in a number of other places and they've um, determined what their efficiencies are to get things done. We are, on the utility side, gonna be taking care of some of the larger customer meters, everything over two inch, uh, because they're a small number, uh, and we want that type of a, of a uh, installation and change out is gonna take more time, uh, and it will have to take some modifications to achieve, so uh, we're gonna be handling that portion of it. Well, it sounds like a really great project for MPU customers and MPU itself. Mm -hmm. Is there any other message that you would like to give to MPU customers about this um, installation of the automatic uh, meters? Well, other than uh, we ask that they be patient and understanding, uh, we'll be able to provide them as much information as we can as we see what those readings are. 
if there are concerns, we'll respond to those concerns, uh, not by pushing them off, but actually providing the same customer, if not greater customer service during this change out period. Uh, most important thing is going to be the data. Everybody's, everybody's connected, except for a few of us that try not to be. Uh, but uh, it's something that uh, is going to provide the customer with information as to how they can conserve more water if they choose to do so uh, in their own home. And uh, yes, in some older homes, it would be an opportunity for them to you know, maybe purchase low-flow toilets, which are the largest consumers, or shower heads. And then it will be a good time for them to audit their sprinkler systems and find out that they are on the proper watering days, not seven days a week, like we found out in a couple of installations. They, oh, my bill doubled. Well, yeah, your sprinkler system's coming on every night. Uh, so, uh, but we were able to correct that issue and resolve the customer's problem. Uh, but it is knowledge. Knowledge is power. And it, it provides everybody the opportunity to, to be aware of what's going on in their lives. We hope that everybody sees it as, as we do. Uh, we know there's going to be a few problems here and there, uh, but we're ready for that also. And, but we're going to be here. Uh, the number's going to be the same. Uh, the data, whenever uh, the web-based programming is installed, I don't know how far along we need to be to be able to have that happen, but we'll be able to see that data and be able to communicate that to the customer early on. So looking forward to it. Well, it sounds like a great project as an MPU customer myself. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And so we're really thankful to MPU for having all of these uh, modern uh, tech approaches to managing and conserving this most precious resource, which Absolutely. is our water. And we appreciate this effort to help customers be more responsible with their water usage. So again, Mr. Amos, it's always a pleasure to have you in studio. Thank pleasure you so much here. for Thank coming you. in and telling us about all the great things MPU does for us. We've got lots of other things coming up. Hope we'll to see have you soon. To, yes, absolutely. We'll invite you soon and you can tell us about the next thing that's uh, on the horizon for MPU. So continue to watch uh, on 1300 for more more information about the McAllen Public Utility and the City of McAllen. And of course, watch this channel uh, for more information about what's happening here in your community. For the City of McAllen, I'm Sochil Mora.